Oshiboshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. Use a scoop interface to get you to stop the sea computer, Babe, and get mission on the Kanda Gate. Babe tries to distract him by using the vision of the certain woman. It is Yuto's mother, Wakanda, who also turned out to be Kasane's mother. They are shocked by this and learn that Wakanda also has the worst strings power. They avoid Babe's plan to at the computer's central tunnel. At the moment, however, all the Babe data is a waste. They stop to get Sue's plan but lose the image of the Kanda game, realizing that the only thing left to do to try is to meet Wakanda. They decide to use the West strings to travel through time. Today, we're still going to praise 10. Back to the parking area we go. Hey, the living tomb must have made, made it even so none of us even happened, didn't they? Yeah, they did. All the fun stuff and all the crappy stuff. Even though they are important as people to people, everything would be gone. Even being us, being together and exchanging much like this would go away. How could that happen? Would I have existed? I haven't achieved anything yet. Yes, even if someone were just us using the method, we would not be able to reverse the result. Now that I think about it, that's scary. Maybe the scariest thing I ever heard. Yeah, it's, it's very scary and sad. I couldn't support these methods now. Anyway, I'm glad we were able to stop it. Seriously. Let's build the vision of this world with our own hands. Okay, let's go forward. Okay, this will be a while to get to the other side, so let me put some stuff to in the meantime. To sell some stuff. Hmm. I'm suspecting there'll be some others around here too while we're exploring. We just don't know. I'm just. I see nothing so far, apparently. Oh, it's just right there. That's it, really? gate has it always been that big it's definitely expanding but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years this place brings back a lot of memories the red strings i think there's a good chance this is going to work okay i hope i know what it feels like we'll give you sas support we should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together there's no telling what kind of dangers there will be, so it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. Alright. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So... Should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear, but I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca, though for a different reason. Yuito, if you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. That's true. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. That's better, honestly. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of course. It's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. All right. Let's begin. Nabe, don't Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. <laughs> uh, uh. 
sounds so fucking. Wish we're not. It's shaking. The Kunat gate is reacting. Do it. There it is. It's coming out. Take me to mother. Kasane, we'll be waiting for you. She home out just like that. Oh, I'm curious. Now what's gonna happen? Are you okay? Like, oh shit, my boy. Yuito. Huh? If I had taken a wrong turn, you'll lose the honor of our family. You can't stay here. I'm sorry. You'll regret it. I'm ready. It's her. Okay, I'm curious though, what's gonna happen next? Oh. Oh, there's little Yuito. Ready yet, Yuito? Not yet, mommy! Fuck do I hide? Mommy is good at hide and seek, so I have to hide really well. Don't go too far. I won't. Totally. Maybe over there is good. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Where could Yuito be? This works. I'll be okay here. Mommy can't see me. I'm going to find you right away. Uh, uh, What's going on? Mommy? <gasps> I'm really as a child? Uh, I'm going to run away. Ah! Just kidding. Um, but hey, Mom, are you okay? Huh. <gasps> Who is that? Oh shit. Oh, you're Kasane. Oh, I. Huh? One day I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. Oh, yeah, in anime. She knew we're coming. Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother, what do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the Red Strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-Red Strings to transfer data across time. To Red Strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. Is that even possible? Yes, it is. Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Please say no. Huh? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed. I'm by going the bullshit Gate. on that. Uh, death? Why? Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Good. Now, while the red strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. Huh? Alright. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Mommy? 
Where are you going? Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide and seek. It's all right. He's hiding right over there. It's like, fuck, how do you find me? I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? Yes. It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be all right. Then we'll go to the future. Okay. I'll be all right. If that happens, Mommy will go somewhere with that lady. I don't want her to go. Okay. Then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! Oh, shit. No, I went away as a child. The mother's went away. Well, no. no, she'll find me here. No, just, just go back. I'm gonna control you and go back. No, I'm gonna run away on this way. I'm like, ah, right away from a time traveler! Okay, what's going on now? Get to a shelter! Hurry! You there! Where's your mother? Isn't she here? Uh... My mommy is... Uh-oh. Uh... Don't look! Get to the shelter, understood? Watch this. <gasps> Just like my memory. Sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. You see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah Okay. I took this shit off. Oh, and you wrote this one. You have to live, no matter what. Just like before. Are you all right? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. Oh, we have to lie. Wrong. Are you okay? They pass out just like the anime. Next step, we're back to us. Yuito, are you okay? 
Yuita, snap out of it. Oh, I'm fine. That's right. I remember now. It was Kasane. She's the one who saved me back then. There you go. Now you know. Oh, right. Kasane. It's like, Mom? It's the same as the vision babe showed us. Which means... Mom? It's like, Hi, son! Why are you here? What's going on? You're so... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. Let's take her back. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? No. Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the red strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Let's take her back home. Okay. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while, so let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. Yay. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. Yes. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither New Himuka nor Togetsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere. But then, what animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals. Or so they say. So the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. <sighs> well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So can't we just slack off? I mean, take a break? Yeah? You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. We'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. This is hanging out for a while, people. I could have ended there, apparently. I didn't know that. But that's fine. So now I'm going to end with people. The circumstances are unfortunate, but it's good you got to see your mom again. That's true. Yeah, but it's all so sudden. I don't know what to say to her. It's been years. You must have a lot of things you want to talk to her about, right? I mean, yeah. I've been thinking about what Kako said about what the law people are trying to do and what happened. But I'm still not convinced. I understand. I'd like you to explain to me again. Don't worry about it, Timbuski. Aside from me and Kakua, Kokyaya, it was a lot of information that got dumped on all of you. As far as I understand, it all begins with the concept was sent to Earth from the moon? Yeah, I guess all around then. The console goal was to return to the homeland, reduce the problem of the overpopulated moon. However, they went into a problem. The other particles that transfer humans into others start falling down on the moon and Earth. In order to draw these particles away from the moon, they need to overdo the great device that was really Earth climax. So, they want to sacrifice Earth in order to save just the moon. And the one who was trying to execute the plan was Kagumo, who was the agent for the moon. 
Yeah, that's right. But I fucked up. That's when the moon decided to try to do a different method. If they couldn't avoid the other particles and falling, then all they had to do was direct them all to Earth. If the ploy of the Earth or the belt of other particles, the colonists on Earth wouldn't be able to return to the moon. They could kill two birds with one stone by using privilege of falling ground again. So that's the reason the extension booth came to be. Does that mean the moon's plans succeeded? I don't know. I feel like I lost contact with the moon, so I have no idea what happened up there. I can't imagine what anything worked out for them or the other particle though. That is just a close doctor. But I believe the moon continues to face the crisis regardless of themselves the plans. You see the moon is also of the other distinct onto Earth. No matter what their incident object may have been, continuing that for 2000 years of bundle, to say the least. When they are afraid of Earth's version of all they were interested in of the trouble, the moon is facing these desperate times. Yes, even though there are more advanced technology than we do, that is why I believe they are still being treated by the others. Other than the moons too? If that's the case, I must have must be hard for the, for you, Kago. I mean, that's your homeland and where your family was. I would push your concern, Tunbuski, but I honestly have mixed feelings about it. Everything happened such a long time ago. Anyways, that's pretty much all I can tell you about it. So, not all the suspicious I I know, but it's that anyone has been in the most secret one. Oh, you can't count them out if they're talking about separation. You're talking about the mysterious suburb of the fair all known, right? Unfortunately, all I know is that they'll use shapes changing power, even if they can, that's just a rumor or an open legend. There isn't any constant information about it. A sharp shifter, I guess that's the only thing there, out there. Oh well, I didn't know you were a super fan too, what do? I didn't think you were a fan, Satan. Let's change whatever you get into mysterious separation. Yeah, even being honest, you can't learn many of these on the separation. It would be nice to have someone to exchange info with. Since we exchange information, let me ask you what to do. Who was your favorite separation? Well, I can't really say he's my favorite anymore, but Major General Carwin's power is just nasty as fuck. It's probably Major General Spooky though. His power is so cool and he's very generous with fan service. Hmm, most of us is like either first class General Major General Coward or second class Major General Fubuki. Big words. Who do you like then, Satan? I think I still think seven class belongs to Sato. So let me say that Sato seven class is my favorite. If I got seven class though, no, I won't say anymore. Well, talk about this some other time. Just you and me, Watu. All right, we'll have a nice long talk about separation. I'm looking forward to it. To the members of OSF, this is the Office of Vision of the Operating System. This is a message to know that new version has been added to the Vision Simulator. You may check the content of the mission by accessing the Vision Simulator via any emission device such as a TV. We'll help you waste your connection. What should I say to mom when she wakes up? There's so much I want to talk to her about. Aww. Okay, hold on. Who can I hear with? One, two, three, four. Not gamma, okay. So that's five, six, seven. You know what I'm doing first? The asshole of the group is you! Are you really going to greet me long look lost looking at that look that you should rest when you can? Duh okay fine, I'll talk to you first. Go on asshole. Okay. Yuto, I need to talk to you. Yes. Now what? Did you come to insult me again? No. I don't want anyone else to hear. We're going to Musubis. Come on. Hey, uh, wait, I didn't agree. <sighs> Oh man, I can't take this guy. Uh, while we're going, Konami help! I'm being dragged along by this asshole. So, what do you want? We had an argument last time. And? Yeah, I remember. You don't want to pick up where we left off, do you? I've had enough of that. No, I don't. I was too emotional before, so I'm sorry. Wait, what did you just say? He says sorry. So... I said I'm sorry. What's strange about that? I know when I've gone too far. Yeah. I uh, said things I didn't mean to. But I didn't expect you to just apologize. Me too. I called you a pampered little boy. But when I thought of your circumstances, I realized I was wrong. You lost both your parents, then almost lost your memory. You've had plenty of your own hardships. Well, when you say it like that... Did I really have it that hard? Will you accept my apology? Yes, yeah, yeah. I accept. Just to be clear, I'm only apologizing for what I was wrong about. It's true that you're a dimwit, so I won't apologize for that. Uh, Can't he be a little nicer? I guess that's just his personality. Yes. Speaking of hardships, you said you were a dud. Do you actually know what that means? Yeah? Oh, huh? well, anyways! It means someone born without powers. 
Do you really understand that? You say it like it doesn't affect you. They have it harder than even civilians. They're powerless. That's what it means. Well, it's kind of unclear. Wait, are you worried about me? Is he? No. I just... I can't understand how you can say that so lightly. No matter what the official stance is, people without powers are discriminated against. What's going on? It doesn't matter if you're a Sumeragi or not. No matter how much they flatter you to your face, they're laughing at you in their heads. HP, thanks. I don't think I could handle that. I know that people won't look at me the same, but it won't change who I am. Yes, that's there right. There are people who see me for me, not as a psionic or as a Sumeragi. I can't tell if you're oh, tough or just bad. stupid. You've had so many bad experiences, but you look so self-assured. When I see you, it makes me think I can't whine about my little problems. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm surprised you want to whine sometimes. It's not that I want to whine. There are things I'm not pleased about. Okay. I've worked so hard, but my real ability still isn't appreciated in the OSF. It's irritating. Oh yeah. I think I know what it feels like to not be appreciated too. People don't see how hard I work because I'm a Sumeragi. Just like you. Huh. Way to be insulting without trying. He wasn't... I'll give you some advice. If you feel like you're not being appreciated, then get so strong that people have to appreciate you. That's the only way. It's what I worked so long for. And what I'll keep working for. Wow. You can be unexpectedly passionate. Unexpectedly? Why is it unexpected? I just always thought you were the cool guy. I didn't think we'd have anything in common. S stop it! We don't have anything in common. I'm not a pampered boy like you. Yeah, yeah, we're not alike at all. I mean, I'm not rude oh, like shit. you. What? If you had been nicer about your advice before... Oh, that's right. I haven't thanked you yet. I'm just a smile like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm I not mad. I had trouble listening, but once I put the insults aside, I realized it was pretty good advice. Thanks. Of course it was. I'm always studying battles to get better than I am now. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Will you give me more advice sometime? Sure. But I won't be so nice next time, so don't cry about it. Duh. <laughs> I'll be ready. I'm counting on you. Don't be nice, I'll be quite nice. Can I be his ass? Yeah, sure, you can Stop do that. Stop furrowing your brow the moment you look at someone. I could say the same to you. <laughs> that makes two of us then. Makes me Double doing it. Much. But I guess you could say I'm rubbing off on you. You should keep climbing to get on my level. Um, I would say that. That would say was, so I'm not gonna read it. My first impression of you was the worst. But now, I'm willing to say you're the second to worst. Are you trying to be nice? I guess I'm grateful that I'm better now. Are you being nice? Hey ladies, are you being nice? I hear you're putting good hands, Housework, but now you wasn't unable to lay life. This thing I make is giving me problems. It affects my work sometimes, too. I want to do something about it. That's all of the left field. I don't know something though. The easiest thing to put in the palm is wall or something in wood or bar before you touch the door knob. It happens easily when your skin is dry too, so make sure to stay moisturized. Is your skin dry, Sheeran? I want to talk about my skin, but I have been a little dry lately. I'm pretty good at advice, thanks. Okay, next dude to hang out with Will is Luca. Where is Luca? Hey Luca, can I speak with- No, hold up. Now deal with this guy next. So, Barry just missed the data to do a post. I definitely didn't see that coming. Uh, yeah, let's give you a bun episode. Okay, so what do you want to talk about? Hey, Kagro. If you, uh, have some time, what do you say we go get coffee? Oh, well, I've never been asked by a guy before. And it's Yuito of all people. Do you mean Yuki? <laughs> is it that unexpected? Uh, yeah. Of course it is. After all, I am the one who killed your father. I've said a lot of things to you and dragged you around, but I thought you'd still have something against me. No. I still have mixed feelings about you, and you're right. I can't just forgive what you did. Yeah, I figured. 
But that's why I want to know who you are, and what you're thinking. And it was a nice break going to town with you. Huh. If that's how it is, oh, up, how can we do something less oh, boring than just it. coffee? Less boring? Hey, where are you taking me? I could tell you now, but that would spoil the surprise. I'm going to take you to the strip club. What? No! I got an abe. Why would you do that? You said something less boring, but this place is pretty deserted. Ugh. <laughs> you probably shouldn't believe everything someone like me says. I was lying. Hmm. Okay. Why did you bring me here? Well, you did say you wanted ah, to understand shit. me. I chose this place because I don't think anyone will bother us here. Oh, don't right. hesitate to ask me whatever you want. You have the right to do ah, so. Shit. Okay. Well, I do have something I've been wanting to ask you. You said you wanted to stop Togetsu for your family, right? Yeah. Everything I've worked for up till now was to stop Togetsu's plans. To protect the existence of my family, of my daughter. Uh -huh. For 2,000 years, that's all I lived for. Well, I told you most of that already. Yeah, I understood that. And I don't doubt it at all. But there is still something I just don't understand. What's that? Jeez, you already stopped don't Togetsu. Don't you finally reached your goal. So what's wrong? Why do you still look so unsatisfied? Oh? <laughs> That's pretty sharp. You know, you're something, kid. Very innocent. Maybe too innocent. What? You're not still hiding something, are you? Well, everything I've told you up till now was definitely true. But if there is something, I guess it's that I'm burned out. You're burned out? What do you mean? It's been 2,000 years. My family, have... the world I know, they're all far in the past. I have nothing now. I don't feel anything. I'm totally empty inside. I, I, I achieved the only goal I had. Now I'm just remaining in this world with no real meaning. Kind of like a ghost. I know what it feels like to lose your family. I lost mine too. But how can you talk like that? You're the one who murdered my father. You're telling me that the person who killed my family is a burned out coward? I'm sorry if it makes you mad, but that's how I feel. You're the one who wanted to know. So, do you want to kill me now? No, I don't. Thank you for being honest with me. I'll talk to you anytime. You beat the crap out of me in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Dude, he has no time for that shit. Okay, then, that's enough serious talk. Time to head out to town. Hey, huh? Wait, what? That was a quick turnaround. I can't believe you want to go out now. I told you I'd take you somewhere less boring, okay, didn't I? You need to pay attention. Um, you just told me not to believe what someone like you says. All right, today I'll show you how real men have fun in Suo. This is gonna be fantastic. Why am I blocking you? He said fun was escaping reality, but I think he might be enjoying himself just a little too much. Yes, too much fun. Yuito, are you tired? No. Are you making sure to use Baki to make you feel better? <laughs> yes. Baki gives me all the energy I need. Yeah, you're really oh, weird. I guess this is what it means to have a good upbringing. Well, if Baki makes you feel better, then I'll be sure to buy any Baki merchandise I come across. Uh-huh. Same thing. Anyways. I think we make a pretty good team. I guess so. Are you stalking me, girl? Hey, Luca! You're next. I was a gamer, but I'm glad the plan worked. Alright, bon episode. Okay. Yuito, do you have a moment? You look worried. Did something happen? Yes, I must conduct this with the utmost secrecy. It's slightly dangerous. Okay. It may be difficult to manage on my own. So I was wondering if you could help me. Of course I'll help. So how dangerous is it? 
for a while now. I've been looking into the research conducted at the old OSF hospital. Are we going back there again? During the investigation, I discovered research data was stolen by a spy from Ceyron. I can't go into details, but it's very dangerous. It must be erased as soon as possible. So you want to infiltrate a Ceyron research facility? Are we going there? Yes. It should be in the Supernatural Life Research Facility. Okay. Will it just be the two of us? Looks likely. Yes, that would be best. I guess fewer people involved would be better for secrecy. I'm glad you understand. Let's leave immediately. Like, I can't be annoyed with me? No, you cannot be happy. I want to bring my girl with me. Okay, fine. Just me and the baby. Oh, we heal. Okay, would you be careful about you? I know it's kind of late to bring this up, but shouldn't we be hiding as we move so they don't notice us? Ah, okay, we can go this way. <laughs> this door is open. Uh, they're not gonna know if I do this. There you go. Smash. You're dead. My friend! Thanks. Ah! Yeah, I killed your friend now. What? Uh, oh, Look quick. Where else did Destiny not gonna go next, apparently? Is it upstairs or. Oh, yeah, it's upstairs. That's where we're going, apparently. So that means I have to go this way and deal with some. Hi! Yeah. Stop looking! They're the weakest ones. You wanna get the G's? Who's getting it? You should be able to break the outer shell if you keep attacking. Yep, it's Crush up. you! Keep it up! Successfully reached shell. Who's Attack next? Now. You're next. If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health. So be careful. Smashing. Ha! Good. Oh, do I miss my O2? Gotta be careful. No, we're just hanging upstairs now. Uh, isn't it straight? Uh, oh my god, my enemies. Yeah, those are weak ones. Here we go. You're weak. All of you are weak. Don't even try. Don't even try. Oh, you got that one. Give your legs. Oh, we can't go that door. Are you serious? That sucks. I need support. Okay, so this is key room number two. We need to get those again. No, oh, that's gonna suck. So this is open. Okay, now open. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. No, no need to be saved. Just need to heal. Did it say? Oh, we're going around. Okay. We're just being killed. We're going. I knew what it was. Hey, you lazy fuckers! It sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on you. Spin. Gotta. Come on. Come on. I'm trying. It's a little slow, apparently. It did hit someone. Oh, that's good. Let's do that. Yeah. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break it. Next. Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Gonna hit that one. Gonna hit that one. Break your shell. Who's that? Nah. -uh. Get down. Get down. Crush you. You're stronger than the other one. Hone it. Oh, here we go. Now die. Get that one. 
that one. You miss. Okay. Give me a smash and broken. I can hit it. That was brilliant. Come on. Are we done? Oh my god, there's still more gotta do it. And the big guy's here too. You should be able to break the outer shell if you keep attacking. Oh. Towards the big one. Towards the big boy. Towards the big boy. You gotta press and hold. Okay. It's down. Give it everything you got. Hey, big guy. Who to touch? What? Oh come on. Mine. Crush you! Never mind that one. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that one. Got the other ones. Yeah. Hey! Hit the back! My back! Oh, my back! Fuck your back! Oh, you just, you just turn around like, nope, I'm not taking it. You stop spinning at us. I'm fine. Oh my god, is the wall heal? No. Good. I don't want to with more of you. Oh! Okay, are we on the right path? Ooh, I don't think we're on the right path actually. Because that door is open now. I'm checking the one here. So we were here in this room. And there's nothing special here. Hold up. Let me check the map real quick. So it's not here. We're supposed to go right oh. up here? Is that right? Look, I think we're lost. What? Where are you going? So, actually, you're supposed to go this way. Uh -huh, we're just going in circles. That's what it was. So, now we're supposed to go to this room over here. But here's the problem. We need another key card over here. Duh, that's annoying. So, that means we're to look for another key card around here somewhere. What the room? It doesn't like key card. It might be on that side of my me. pleasure. Uh, wait. It does. Yeah, it does work on teleports. Let me teleport to the other side. It's on. It's glowing green. No. Damn, that's annoying. Uh, no, but try to break through the door. It's glowing green. It's supposed to let us do. That's weird. Use it well. Let's do it again. Is it blocking the way? It's fucking your user. I guess it is. Uh, let's go around and that's the case. Which with the enemies are. Here we go. Keep it up. Take this. Ouch. Okay, nice. Don't you want for us? We'll do what we'll, we'll do what we'll this way. That's what he wants to do. Aha! I'm trying to make it go. That way, that way. Yep, down, down. Hey, hey. This is pretty rare. Now go forward. Towards that one. Yeah, don't let him do. Here we go. I killed your friend. Okay. Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Oh, I came from the other side. Of course. Ooh. Who wants to get smashed? Aren't you dead already? That's overkill, dude. 
Let's do better. Yeah, thanks. Let's deal with this one. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. And Good. killed him. I'm going to get stronger. Level 50. Yep, it's still fine from behind. I was saying walk bottom. It's down. Keep it up. Give it everything you've got. Got that one. The oil is making me sluggish. I'm fine. Keep it up. Ah, uh, both of Leave it to me! It's over! We're done? Nope. Down is blowing off. Doing it three times. Get down. I can hit it! Oh my goodness, that was the last of the enemies. Thanks, Luca. Okay, now. You might be better at using teleportation than I am. Okay, that was. <laughs> that was. If so, uh... it's thanks to you, Luca. Huh? I was supposed to. Wait a minute. Am I on the right path? Support. It doesn't look like I am in the right path. Um, uh, because that way is locked. Uh, because we're supposed to go, we're supposed to, go to that room. Am I missing another one? <laughs> I think I am. I'm gonna keep going and look around. Okay, so we did came from here. No, this room's empty. What am I doing? Nothing from this side of the room. Okay, we do go this way. Enemies? Yeah, hey, you see me? What's next? You call your friends that I'm here? I think you're late. Haha, <laughs> that hurts. So, that door opens. But hold up, we don't go there yet. Are you trying to swear me? You finished it off, Yumito. Yeah, thanks. Uh, oh, behind. What? Yeah. Okay. Look at that weak. <sighs> I'm fine. There's no flames coming to me. Wait, what? Seriously? Crush you! Too bad. Leave it to me. Go that was brilliant. Thanks, Luca. Uh, but there's nothing. My enemies. Oh my God! Why? Successfully breaks the shell. Attack now. It's right something like oil. Don't get it on. In the brain. Come on. Okay, hey, they're gonna give me some this. Okay, smash again. I can hit it! That was brilliant. Keep it up. Sounds like we're done now. Ooh. Okay, now I have to find that key card. It's not here. Is it doing this one? Because you can't tell me here. You gotta go around. You gotta go here. Oh, that door too. Fuck, man. Use it well. Okay, is that the key card over here? Thanks, I'll take it. No, that's not the one. That's just a uh, different. It's still annoying, but I have to go around these places. 
the enemy dropped something. No sun noises would not heal. It might be you, actually. My pleasure. Might be. No, there's nothing over here. It's just these things in the jelly. I need support. Uh. Okay, now we heal. My enemies. Here we go. You should be able to break the outer shell if you're fine. If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health, so be careful. Oh, we got both. Don't die, mate! Don't you want to wait? Yeah, that's right. Now die! Come on! Woo! Okay, that doorway is locked. Okay, but there's, there's nothing in there from what I'm seeing. Uh, Use it well. Oh, I'm trying to get out. Wait, what is came from here? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, not from that side. So that door is locked from that side. Oh, where can I go then? I need support. I don't know where to go. It's actually confusing because to go next. Oh wait, I see something on the side. Look at What's this? There he is! Oh my goodness, it's right here. Let's head back. Wait, what? There are more others than I expected. I was right to bring you with me. If we take too much time getting there, they may detect us and move the research data to another location. I'm glad I came. Why were you looking into the research at the old OSF hospital anyway? I apologize if this sounds harsh, but I'll be honest with you. Okay. While I was observing you, I feared that I might lose my power one day as well. Oh. Well, you are a dud like me. Yes, I began looking into the research the government did on powers to alleviate my fear. I was hoping I would discover a way to treat the loss of powers. Is that why you asked for my help? Yes. Since you already know my secret, I didn't have to lie to you. It was rather selfish for me to ask you. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you asked me to help, no matter the reason. So, did you find what you were looking for? Unfortunately, no. In fact, I found the opposite. You don't mean... Yes. It's data on eradicating psionic hormones from human brains with drugs and completely erasing powers. <laughs> Why would they research something like that? It seems their plan was to use it as a weapon to depower enemy psionics. And now Sayron is continuing that research. If it's implemented, it'll be a huge threat to the OSF. Since we use our powers as a weapon. What the fuck's going on? And many more people will face discrimination as duds. We have to stop this research. What do you Let's want, find yo? that data and erase it. Okay, we're all getting close to what we find, so let's just get out of My here. You're so amazing. You investigated the laboratory all by yourself and even carried out an infiltration plan. <laughs> I may not look like it. But I have been on many OSF missions in my life. Oh, now, crazy. it that is too crazy. early to relax. Our mission isn't over yet. We got the next toy! It took a while to find. So now we are going to I'm investigate this part of the room. It just took a while. <laughs> so now that we heal. Is this the lab researching the stolen data? It should be. It I seems no one well. is here. Let's get this done. But the others. What is this? <laughs> no. Okay, What's wrong? It seems Sayron's research has already progressed further than I expected. This is a plan to disperse the drug indiscriminately and turn an entire city into duds. What? If they use this, they may be able to turn all humans in New Himuka into duds. What is Sayron thinking? Delete that right now. He's trying. What's the matter? 
Delete the data, Luca. I just had a strange thought. Oh, good so many oh, okay. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what the world would be like if there were no powers? What are you saying? I've thought about it all my life. <sighs> Our society is fixated on the superiority of powers. Whether you have powers or not decides your fate. But if all humans were duds, no one would ever have to worry about powers again. How much tragedy have you seen that would never have happened if there were no powers? Calm down. I don't know, you don't, I don't do you know, understand what you're saying? Yes. I do. Then you oh, know that no tragedy will be prevented by a weapon like that. People cause those tragedies, not powers. Taking them away won't solve anything. I know this has been bothering you. I get worried when I think I might lose my power too. <sighs> but that doesn't make it right to take them all away. You're the one that is most fixated on the superiority of powers. I apologize. That was a bad joke. Huh? Huh? That was... a joke? How is that a joke? Uh, come on. Don't scare me like that. Can you smile at me, Luca? Don't worry. I've deleted all data related to the research, including the backups. That's a relief. That's good. Let's go back. It's dangerous to teleport with so many others around. So we should take the same route we came. Yeah, okay. Let's go. I swear, it makes, if it makes us... The way he was talking, even if it was a joke, he sounded kind of serious. Yeah. He must have been really hurting to be tempted by it. Yes, you can you blame him? That's crazy. I'll take my assist. Our mission is complete. That was good work. I'm glad nothing happened. You surprised me a little back there. What the fuck's going on? I was only teasing you. Besides, you go to tease? I'll be honest with you. I hated you for a bit. Why? <laughs> what? It was more jealousy than hatred. I've been a research subject ever since I was young. We're both duds, but your family still loved you. I thought that you could never really understand how I felt. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I didn't know you felt that way. You don't need to apologize. What you said before made oh, something block, clear no. to me. She didn't block once. We see the world differently because oh, we've lived once. different lives. And because of that, I think there are things I could learn from you. You're right. He said, Come heal. I am the he one said, that is fixated heal. on superiority of powers. <laughs> that was in the heat of the moment. I'm embarrassed to have acted like such a child. Are you disappointed that someone like me is a Septentrion? No. No. I'm glad you told me how you really feel. I hope you'll feel free to be honest with me in the future. You certainly are honest to a fault. Perhaps I could learn that as well. So, should we run back to the hideout? What? It's pretty far. You're here, so why don't we teleport? I don't think we could. Stamina no, is no. just as important as strength. Let's go. That's not what I meant when I said to feel free. He's like, yeah, I'm this one. Like, wait, baby. Do you ever get tired of being a member of the OSF? Um, the reality is different from my ideal, but there's a lot I couldn't do if I wasn't here. And that's true. You did choose to join us of your own will. That's because I, I respect you. For seeing the realities of the OSF and remaining unswayed. Therefore, <laughs> Luca, I don't have to read that. They're the same weddings from what I'm seeing from others. Got scratched back as a prince, Luca. Ooh. I'd like to talk with you some more. I hope you feel the same way. Of course. You know a lot of stuff, so it's fun talking to you. Okay, so we got like. Hold on. One. Okay, so we got like one, two, three. Four, five more hails to go. Why are those on the world? 
What our powers, you tell? Do you know what? I'm not seeing you much. This is only the other stuff for the petition. Wait, it's a little worried, but with or without powers, I think the will stay the same. I think that's important if the cousins are hostile to each other. You never cease to shock me, you tell. The kind of now, hearts. I would like to think on that myself. Thanks to you, honestly, I'm shaken. I have nothing. My life has no meaning. But I guess I'm the only one who can remember them. My family. Sorry, I don't know how to put it. You wish to talk again. Let's just knock it out of town next time. Big booba woman! I may have forgot the time, but you won't be able to use the best dreams that often. The toll it's taken to use is too great. Yeah, let's just give you a bon episode now. Oh, well, you're busy? Probably not. Yuito, do you have a minute? There's something I have to tell you. What? What's the matter? Let's go to Misubi's. I'll tell you everything there. About things I've been hiding from you. What? Hiding from me? What? Will you still take part of my dick? Is that it? <laughs> what was it that you were hiding from me? Oh shit! I couldn't tell you before because I was scared of what you'd think of me. A long time ago, Togetsu ordered me to monitor your mother, Wakana Sumeragi. My mom? Years ago? Yes. Right after she escaped from Togetsu, they sent me into Suo. I spied on her and reported everything to them. Her movements, her life, and her family. I see. That's why you knew about my childhood. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. No, I'm glad you told me. I'm surprised, but I'm sure you didn't have a choice. Thank you. I don't know if this can make up for it, but I'll answer anything you want to know. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to ask this. Like what? What, what, what is it? Like what size Could are you wearing? you tell me more about my mom? We didn't have time to really sit down and have a conversation when she came back. No. Yes, of course. Where should I start? From that romantic day your parents met? What? No, you don't need to go that far. Nah. <laughs> How about from the time I was born? Yeah, that's better. Let's see. You had to be kept in the hospital for a while. But you were such a cute baby. Your mother was always by your side, watching over you. <sighs> While you and your brother grew, I think your mother always sensed Togetsu in the shadows. Still, she continued basking you in love, never showing any sign of fear or worry. She was an incredible person. Do you think you were watching over us like my mom did? Huh? Just... The way you were talking about it made it sound like you kept a watchful eye on us. I'm sorry if I was wrong. Hmm. You're right. I may have gotten a little attached. I mean, I've been watching your family for years. I still wish Wakana could have lived like that forever. <sighs> However, I couldn't even imagine going against Togetsu at the time. All I could do was watch. You don't need to feel responsible for that. You're not like that anymore. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can forgive myself a little. Thank you. Well, thank you for telling me stories about my mom. Can I hear more sometime? Yes, anytime you'd like. I have lots I want to share as well. Like the first time you walked, or when your diaper... No, okay, too hey, much. we don't need to go over anything like that. Do you have tons of embarrassing stories about me or something? Uh oh. Just felt like, oh, I saw you watching porn on your phone back then. Just the person I wanted to see. Your lucky color for the day is red, and your lucky direction is south. Um, thanks for that. So, what should I do specifically? Eat red food and deploy south, probably. Should I make something for you? Oh, um, no thanks. I appreciate the thought. Yeah, thanks, Kaoka. Don't need to read that. You can talk to me about anything. Romantic issues? Oh, or dreams you had last it. night? Never fine. Okay. I don't have anything right now, but you can come talk to me anytime you want to. Yeah. I should bust these smiling spell smiling before, right? When you were a baby, your smile when you were with your mother was like a blooming flower. Especially when you showed she would tickle you. You look like you were having so much fun. You were begging her to do it. It used to make me smile too. That's kinda of busy, but it reminds me of that I was love. Thanks 
Kayoka. Here you say it makes me feel like I've helped. Thanks for you too. Oh. Hey, weed woman, let's talk to you next. Your mother's so pretty. She seems even kind of babe's vision. I know, kind of weird, right? Oh, well, let's talk to you next. Iwito, can I ask you something? Yeah, what? Sure, what? Um, we found the white flowers already. I was wondering if there were any other plants you want me to find? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Oh, all right. You look really disappointed. What's up all of a sudden? I wonder if well, I wanted to help you. I want to find more drugs. You always help me. Not only in battle, but with the flowers, too. That's more than enough. But I. Huh? What is it? Oh, sorry. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. But wait, I'll say it. I have to. I want to be brave. Stop with that! I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be brave. I want to be. For. I want to be your friend. I thought you could confess your love. You want to be my friend? I could have well already, though. I've been thinking about it for a long time. You're so nice, and you listen oh, to shit. me, so I want to be your friend. If an army heard you said you love me, she would murder you. I wanted you. to help you. I thought if I did, you'd be my friend. Oh, that's what you were trying to say when I asked you why you were so interested in that flower on Hiano Mountain. Yeah. What the fuck? I didn't lie I then. But the main reason well, I was because I wanted you to be my friend. So I possible? asked if there was any other way I could help. I'll help you any way I can. You don't have to do that, you know. So you don't want to be my friend? Not that, no. What are you talking about? We're already friends. See? Already oh, friends. Yeah, that's how I feel anyway. If it's okay with you, I want to be your friend. But, but I can't talk normally. And I couldn't bring the flower back. I wasn't any help. Whether you're helping or not doesn't matter. Friends are friends. Besides, you've been talking normally for a while now. What about the way I talk? Isn't normal. I just blush and go quiet. I can't look people in the eyes. Listen, it's fine if that's normal for you. But what do you think is normal anyways? Being able to talk a lot without pausing. If you don't do that, people don't understand. That's not true. Even if you don't talk very much, I understand how you feel. Really? I mean... You found that flower's name from the little that I remembered, and you were going to climb Hiano Mountain by yourself. Seeing all that, there's no question how much you care about me. Anyone would agree. And who else but a friend would go through that much trouble? You think so? Yeah. Take plants, for example. They make you feel good just by being around and not talking, right? Stop typing, folks. So, yeah. Like, yeah. So like don't feel weed. like you have to go to great lengths or change who you are just to please others. I think you should just be yourself, just as you are now. That's kind of strange. I've never thought I could be myself. I always wanted to be normal. I thought that if I was, I would be able to make friends besides Kagura. Like I said, I'm your friend. So stressing yourself out is the last thing I want you to do. Just like that white flower. You left it alone because you thought it would be happier living on the mountain. I think you should live the way that's easiest for you as well. That sounds a little pompous, though. No, it doesn't. I'm happy. Same here. I'm happy to call you my friend. Yeah, we're friends. Oh, right. About the flowers. I just thought of one I want to find. What? Go on. It's we couldn't bring back that silent snow melt before, so I was thinking we could find a flower that's suited for this place. Is there one that would bloom inside the hideout? And I'm just asking as a friend, so. 
There are a lot. There's no direct sunlight inside the hideout, so... A flower that can live inside the shade is best. Like a spathophyllum. Spatho... what now? Spathophyllum. But we should take it outside to get some sun once in a while. It's hard for flowers to bloom without ever getting sunlight. Soil, too. If it's not the right soil for the flower, it will wilt. I know a good shop for soil. I'll take you there. Um, I was hoping for an easier one. Like one for beginners. There are no easy plants. They're all living things. Got it. So first, I should get serious about this. <laughs> she looks like she's having fun. She has no trouble talking about plants. And we. She sees me as a friend too. I guess that means we're real friends now. There's no other way to put it. Okay, I'm ready to learn, Professor Sugumi. Sure, I'll start with the basics. Make sure you take notes. Huh? Right, okay. Uh oh. So we are going to learn about smoking weed every day. Yeah. Don't get judged, Hobby. Okay, anything to say? Oh, I probably not, so let's check the this. I'm glad we're friends, you two. I wonder what else friends do together. I think I might want to do more friend things with you other than talking about plants. Uh, that's kind of a tough question. Do I still need to buck a good guy soon if you're interested? Let's go buy them. Yeah, that sounds fun. Like friends, it's a promise. I'm going to Kasani next. I think you're busy. So wait a minute, hold on a second. Kasani, wait, wait, wait. Anyways, a lot of people left on the moon are still suffering from the mental bicycles. Mm hmm. I don't know, Kasane. Oh, wait. I didn't really talk to Kasane about the fact that the person who raised her was my mother. No. Hey, Kasane. Do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? I wanted to talk to you about my mother. I thought you may want to as well. Yes. Will you come with me to Mizuhagawa? Uh, why? Oh, why me? I, I thought it would be best to talk somewhere private. I also want to get some combat in. So you want to get some field training? Great. I'll make lunch then. We'll probably get hungry. This isn't a picnic. Fine. Good. Then we'll leave in an hour. We don't get to do this too often, so I'll make the best lunch that I can. <laughs> no, babe, don't mind what we're doing, okay? This is not a date thing. We're just doing some training, okay? You gotta relax. I wanna come too. I don't wanna be alone with these guys. <sighs> Looks like we took care of most bacon. of the others around here. Why bacon? Why Let's bacon? take a break. Here's your lunch. What's the lunch they made, actually? Oh. She's not saying anything. Maybe she doesn't like some of the vegetables. Or maybe I tried too hard? I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Dog oh, great. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You because... were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Just don't, just don't shoot oh, I guess you're right. I oh my about god. Much. <laughs> I forgot she about that. She is rather indifferent sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> we really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about 10 years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu, so that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you Big Sister now? Uh... Stop it. The only Big Sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Yeah, I wouldn't. Okay, 
I won't say it anymore. The oldie chan. <sighs> that was quite the feast. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Yeah. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Oh? Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Why did you just stand there? Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. Really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. Promise not to laugh, but when I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. I actually did cry a little, though. Like, Bobby. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. Yeah? See? I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. Cool. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before we head back. We're, we're gonna fight them? Okay. Let's take care of this together. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. She said it doesn't suit her, but she is like a big sister sometimes. She don't see that. What? You look like you want to say something. Um, no, nice ass? It's nothing. Let's go. Okay, now we're out of there. You know that I said I have a Wi Fi play? That last you made was legit. I wanted to tell you that. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. When I saw you fight today, I was thinking the way you get your power is a little rough around the edges. You should focus more. I really like my cooking. I'll cook you again. Rough, huh? I still can't move like you do, cousin. Why did you train me? To show my appreciation. I guess I'll make you another lunch if you want to, of course. But it would be good to pass for me, too. So I guess I wouldn't mind training you. Can you bring lunches when you do? Chainsaw girl oh, yeah. who looks lazy and done with oh, shit when like, why am I wearing this? I guess I'm hop solving the corner gate issue now. Oh, whoops, I got to use my head. I feel like it's time to be slacking off right now. Yeah, you're fine! Wait, I gave you a gift. I never. D <gasps> I could. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What's better? Um, bang. Is a V. You want this? He's like, what the fuck is this? Hmm. I'll take the if you're giving it. She doesn't seem so amazed. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Let's do a bar episode. Grab. Arashi hasn't mentioned the Force Break program to me once since then. Yeah. I wonder why she wanted to make it in the first place. She said it was to help people like me rest. Yeah. She also said I was just like someone. I know. I'll call that person up. Um. She isn't going to like this. But if it helps get the issue out. Um. Who? Who are you talking about? Hey, Arashi. Remember how you told me that I was like Major General Fubuki? Oh, he's oh that? I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, you two are alike. Especially how earnest and naive you are. Uh, you told me to rest and relax because being too earnest wasn't good. But I think those words and the Force Break oh, program correct. were meant oh. for him. That's an interesting idea. Wait, what makes you think that? There's a lot of reasons. 
But I guess seeing him work until he collapsed sealed the deal. Whenever I see him, I do think he really needs someone to force him to rest. If that's the case, I think you should be telling all of this to him instead of me. Even if you're right, that sounds like a pain. Like pain in the ass. I thought you'd say that. I'm sorry for doing this behind your back. But I invited Major General Fubuki here. He should arrive any minute now. The what? What? Yeah! I received a message from Yuito. He said you wanted to talk to me, Arashi? He's like, the what the? I had no idea you were so nosy, Yuito. You're the one who started this by trying to force me to rest. So consider this payback. <laughs> I can't believe you. Sorry. Arashi, Yuito, what's going on? Uh, Sorry, Fubuki, but I don't really have anything to talk to you about. Arashi, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say. So you need to fucking However, sleep! I know it's wrong to push my own values on you. I won't criticize or deny the way you live just because we think differently. I suppose I was conceited to think that I was always right. Does it go on? I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really? It's the conclusion I drew from my latest experiment. Experiment? Is it what? Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. It's all thanks to the wonderful test subject I had. With me, of course. <laughs> In shit. other words, you just have to follow your gut. Arashi. Arashi. Aww, they Just don't push him. yourself too hard. I can't support you if you collapse. Like, physically. But you're fucking heavy. I know. Thank you. Damn, that's what you want to say. Hmm. Sorry, maybe I did stick my nose where it didn't belong. That's alright. That was surprisingly cathartic. He's like, why are you waiting out your head, by the way? I avoided conversation because I thought it was too much of a pain. Seems like I had a lot I kept bottled up inside. I feel a bit better now. Really? That's good. So here's a token of my appreciation. Take it. Appreciation? Uh, my vision! It's uh -oh. the light version of the break program. It starts spinning your vision so you'll... I'm getting dizzy. See, so I... Uh... <laughs> yes, that was awesome. How's that for relaxing, Yuito? I want to be on Abby's thighs, not You're this. You're actually pissed, aren't you? Uh, we don't know. I think she is pissed. <laughs> Looks like you're working hard. I, I don't think it's a good idea to work too hard, though. <laughs> you're one to talk. You don't care enough about slacking off. It's not a bad thing. When you know your own strength and rest when you need it, you'll be a better soldier. Work on that. There's a lot of people who will be sad if you fall. I'm one of them. Aww. That's face to you. That's the view beauty for her. Ooh. It got a jar large part and lays in the oh, as a presence from the oh, she. Oh. You have potential. However, you should not overdo it. Thanks. Yeah, I'll be careful. Yeah, you be careful. So is this as bad as I hope it teaches you not to get to play pranks like that and adult lazy Yui. I should thank you though. It looks like a buy part of the best pun is worth more than I thought. I feel still feel sick, but I believe that you said that I feel proud for what I did. Sorry, this isn't really an apology, but I want you to teach me how to switch skills like an adult. Lazy you want to learn to do from master lazy eye. How can I put this? You're too serious to help. Fine, I'll teach you the base of being a bad adult. Mr. Fuki, I'm sorry to disturb you. If you have the time, could you come to Hydro? Archie has been acting to me. It seems she wants to talk to you. This message is acting strange. You mean like she's owed us? I'm on my way. Could I have read it earlier? Oh, anyway, talk to my girl who's last. It's like, you don't talk. Huh? You're flushed. Do you have a fever? What? N no. I was just admiring. Me? Is it me? Admiring what? Is it me? Come on. Oh, uh, like you and everyone else? What the I was. Hoping I'll always be with all of you. Aww. Oh, that's it. She doesn't mind me. The title says probably affects this probably. Also, you go for the body set and damage it like it's doing the effect. I feel like you really trust me. Of course. I trust you the most. They're like couples. They're meant to be together. I'll give you a hug. Why is there another? What the fuck? You're telling me you could pull this lady 
you like you to fondle and group yourself? Alright, I'm gonna do. Like subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.